Hey guys, Liberty Stacking here. Welcome back. Uh, just want to say I started working on my sticker board, so that's what I have so far. If you want to do a sticker trade, hit me up. My email will be at the end of the video, and my email is also on my uh, information page on YouTube. Hit me up, and uh, do a sticker trade. So, first off, Thibodeau and Boudreaux, they're a little cranky today. Uh, I pulled them away from, they were watching their favorite Christmas movie, uh, which is Die Hard. Uh, you know, I, I can only see Hans Grimmer thrown off the top of Nakatomi Towers like so many times a day. Love the movie, but sometimes we gotta take care of business. And, uh, as y'all know, we didn't take care of anything this week, and we didn't film anything, so here we are now. Uh, so first off, we got a, uh, a mail call. We did a, uh, sticker trade with, uh, with Aloha Stacker, so, uh, he sent us a little card, you know, Liberty Stacking, here's some swag for your collection, thank you for your friendship and support. Take care and stay safe. All the best. Aloha. Which, if y'all have not seen him, y'all need to really go check out his channel. He's he's from Hawaii, or he lives in Hawaii. You know, he always comes across awesome stuff out there. So, he sent me some stickers. I got his latest sticker, the hologram. I mean, it's... You got the volcano blowing up. You can kind of see the American flag in the background. You can see it a little better on this one. He sent me two of the bigger ones. Uh, I mean, really cool stickers. So, But I think the one I'm going to use on my board is his first. Just solely because he's got the Ford Raptor in it. While I am a huge uh, Jeep fanatic, I do have to give respect to the Ford Raptor because it is an awesome truck. It, it was good to see Ford finally uh, put something out there that would compete against uh, like a Rubicon. Even though the Raptor's not is more of a desert racing truck, it was it was really good to see Ford take that step out there and try to make something a little more for the. Uh, off-road enthusiast. Uh, we also got a uh, letter from Prepping with Sarge. Now Sarge, you know, sent us a uh, sent us a Christmas card. You know, happy holidays. May you enjoy the magical member and memorable holiday. Merry Christmas. Thanks for the sticker trade. May both of our channels be blessed in 2021. Keep stacking your silver and planting your seeds. Prep on Sarge. If y'all have not checked out his channel, Sarge is a... Uh, he, he does a lot of prepping. He just kind of recently got into st showing some silver and stuff that he's stacking. So, uh, you know, check him out. I hate to use the term survivalist because anytime you say somebody's a survivalist you know they instantly get pictures of like not so pleasant things sarge is he's an experienced outdoorsman plus being in the military uh you know he's able to give a lot of feedback and you know i most people, because they're stacking silver, are naturally going to trend to have some crossover with the prepper community. I've actually, uh, I've actually, you know, prepped for a couple years, only recently getting into stacking precious metals. It's kind of one of the last things I got into. So, but Sarge also sent us some stickers so he sent us one of his holograms and one of his regulars so this one was 39 out of 100 
Thank you, Sarge, because you sent me a numbered sticker. I'm not going to put that on the board. I'm going to put that in my special collection. And I'll throw that one on the board. So, again, if y'all want to do a sticker trade, uh, send me an email. My email will be at the end of this video. It's also at the end of my YouTube page, or on my uh, YouTube page about me. So, another thing I wanted to discuss today was I finally completed one of my goals for the year. And that was to stack uh, 20... 2020 American Silver Eagles. So I picked up three more, which now moved my stack to 20. As for uh, this coming year, I plan to focus more on stacking constitutional silver instead of uh, bullion. Uh, just I'm able to find constitutional usually under spot through scouring eBay or you know going to local coin shops. So right now my dollar cost average because I bought so much bullion when the market was going crazy that my dollar cost average is actually not so hot especially when we're in the $23 range so what I'm going to try to do is get I want to get my dollar cost average lower this year by buying constitutional so you know, tell me what your goal is for 2021 so and look before I leave Y'all be sure to smash the like button. Uh, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Ring the hit the bell so you can get the notifications. You know, I'm I was I would have never believed I would have got to over a hundred members. You know, so far I'm 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 truly honored. Um. Uh, I, I, just, I just, I can't thank y'all enough for y'all's support. Uh, so this is Liberty Stacking, signing off for the day. Remember, stay safe and keep stacking.